Hey there, I just want to say first of all, thank you so much for allowing me to send you this video. My name is Joelle and I'm with Zoe SEO and Web Design. I'm just going to show you the three main things that Google is looking for when a search for plumbing services is made. This will help you begin to outrank your competitors on Google and ultimately bring in those customers and that revenue from the use of your website here. So you're probably wondering why am I making this video for you? Uh, well, as a small business owner myself, I learned that most small business owners are just too busy taking care of their customers that they don't have time to learn how to do this. And um, they, don't ha they don't have time to make the internet and their website work for them and bring in more customers. And then the main thing that's stopping them from hiring someone is that they don't know who the expert is. And so I found out that when I'm able to create these uh, short videos, and give them away for free, a lot of business owners will take what I have shared with them and do it themselves. But some will also call me back and have me do it for them. So whatever you want to do is totally cool with me, although I would love to be the expert and do it for you. I just want to help however I can. In this video, I'm going to talk about the three main things involved with search engine optimization or SEO. These are content, backlinks, and citations. Implementing these three components will be what gets those potential customers to your site. The first thing we need to make sure you have is a lot of content. The average website that ends up on the first page of Google should have about 1,500 to 2,000 words of content. This is all your text, your titles, and what your images are saved as. By the way, amazing images. I love, I love all these images here. But you want to save them as keywords. So once you get more content than your competitor, you will blow them out of the water. And within the content, you'll want to make sure you have buyer intent search terms or keywords. A keyword is just a, a phrase that someone types into Google. Buyer intent means that they need the service and they're not just wanting to look in an image or learn about something. So let me just check something out. Oh, okay. So when I just type in the word plumber, which is what people will be searching for, uh, it's not even found on your first page. And that is a, a, a buyer intent keyword. Um, actually, even plumber Glendale, but, um, or plumber La Crescentia, or plumber uh, Tahunga would be a buyer intent keyword, but the word plumber itself is not even showing up within your content. You would definitely want to add this and make sure you uh, add it a couple of times so that people so that you can be found for it you can also save your titles and the descriptions of your individual pages and your images as keywords it'll all help you rank so your content is number one number two is backlinks a backlink is when another website is linking to your website driving traffic to you this is really important. Google ranks your value on the authority of those other websites. The authority those other websites give you. Google wants to see a bunch of trustworthy companies vouching for your company. But keep in mind, they want to see relevant links, which means it will give you a lot more power if you have another um, another website linking to that's uh, related to plumbing instead of, say, a Pizza Hut. So the tool I use here is Arefs, and as you can see, I already put you in the tool. It shows me how a website is ranking within Google, and it shows me how many uh, keywords you have, how many other websites that are linking to you, and how many backlinks you have. Currently, you have seven different websites linking to you, giving power to 22 backlinks or links to your site. This would be considered a backlink. Uh, what you need to, so when I put your competitor, the top competitor for Glendale plumbing or plumber in Glendale, if I search plumber in Glendale, because I figured that's the biggest, largest search area as opposed to La Crescentia or Tahunga, um, this guy, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, comes up, but um, he has about 36 websites linking back to him through 481 backlinks. So what you need to do is just copy, copy them. If the web, these websites are good enough to get them to the top, then they are good enough for you. All you would need to do is visit 30, 
all 36 of the websites, put a link or a few on um, their pages and link them back to your homepage or one of your service pages. Most of the time you can just create a profile within these other websites and add a link in the profile or put a comment somewhere. So then if you add your URL, oops, your URL to the these websites of your competitor and the necessary content with more relevant backlinks, this is how you'll beat your competitor on Google search organically. And so um, let's just show you real quick. These are the results of the search, Google search. Now, if you want to beat your competitor through ads, you'll need to bid higher than your competitor. And if you want to be at the top of the Google Maps pack or the local listing here, you'll need to have more citations than your competitor. And uh, this would be your top competitor, but any one of these three, if you're in the top three, you'll want to have more citations than they have. A citation is anywhere where your business name, address, and phone number is listed in different directories. A, di a directory is a website like Yelp, Yext, Yellow Pages, White Pages, Facebook, Angie's List, that would allow you to put this information. You need to find out where these guys are listed and then add your business information to more directories than they have. If they're listed in 150 directories, you should be listed in 300. So this is just a quick overview. I hope you found it helpful and informative. I've tried to keep it short and to the point. Just go back to your page here. Um, and as a quick recap, you want to have about 1,500 to 2,000 words of content on your homepage with the necessary keywords. Um, you want to have more websites linking to your home page linking to your page than your competitor and you'll want to put your business's name address and phone number in more directories than your top search competitor and if you follow these three tips this is how you'll become number one across all the google search results but i recommend you get started as soon as possible it does take time to implement all of these and the sooner you get started the sooner you'll start profiting from your website um, if you have any questions or you would rather just have someone else handle this for you while you keep running Papa's Plumbing, please feel free to give me a call. My number is at the bottom of this email. And if I'm not already working with another plumber in the specific area that you want to rank for, then I would be more than happy to help you out. All I ask is that you give me some feedback. Please let me know what you thought of this video. And I thank you so much. I look forward to hearing from you.